The following is a presentation of the St. Louis Chess Club. Welcome to Play the People. I am International Arbiter Michael J. Hummer. Alongside me, Grandmaster Benjamin Bach of St. Louis Archbishop fame, world champions. We will be playing the people today, mostly Benjamin Bach. We'll be playing the people at game 3-0 rated. So this is your first time playing the people. You excited? Yeah, definitely. Also, I'm excited to be joined by a back-to-back -back, uh, world champion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. As many people probably don't know, we of course won in San Francisco uh, with our dear friend Benjamin Bach and Nicholas Theodoro. Fabiano and Julian Perlico, but we also became double champions by winning the Summer Series event, and we're off to a great start in 2020 as well. 3-0, and we'll be taking on the California Unicorns tomorrow at 3.15 p.m. live, and Caleb Demby and Dorsa will be uh, calling the action. Yeah, uh, yeah, we are off to a great season, and uh, like you mentioned, all the players. But I think you're uh, forgetting the the manager as well, who's putting in all the work. Uh, like when people in St. Louis talk about chess, they talk, they don't talk about Fabiano Caruana or Wesley Soder. They're, they're talking about Mike Comer, you know. Like Mike Comer is the one leaving the legacy here. So yeah, don't don't forget about him, you know. So okay, so so if you want to go down that road, I'll be I'll be more than happy to oblige. All right, all right, so. So as we, as we know, we've won two of the three championships, all right? In 2017, yep, yep. here was our team. Wesley So, Benjamin Feingold, Varkovian, Nicholas Rosenthal. Team manager, Michael J. Comer. <laughs> and of course, we won the championship. In 2018, we got to the Final Four in San Francisco and fell a little bit short, but got the bronze medal. Let's see who the lineup there was. Varkovian, Yaro Zirabra. Darius Viers and Forrest Chen, team manager, Michael J. Comer. <laughs> and then, of course, in 2019, we went back and settled unfinished business with Fabiano Cariano, Benjamin Bach, Nicholas Theodore, and Julian, team manager, Michael J. Comer. So of all those 12 spots, there was only one repeat performer, Varkovian. So, but the manager, <laughs> Michael J. And hey, we got... Two of the three championships to prove it. All right, so do we have any challenges yet? Um, where do we see the... Let's go to oh. that 13. He? Okay. All uh, right, we got some challenges. And I will be reading all the uh, comments here. And uh, Centennial, you are wrong. <laughs> you just lost 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, we have to say hi to our good friend, Aditya Chandra, who went 2-0 and yesterday at Chess Like It Ought to Be. What a great performance. And gained a perfect 64 chess rating points. What kind of challenges did you prefer? Uh, we are 3-0. 3-0 was fine. But all rated chess. We're here to... We're here to yep, yep. We're, we're playing here. for keeps, right? <laughs> So do we have a do we have a match going? Uh yeah, but he hasn't moved yet. <laughs> All right, uh, we can just um, probably just X abort the game, and then no, we don't want a rematch. <laughs> let's get let's get somebody who wants Heels to play. Carlos. Uh, no, he wants casual un and unlimited. Oh. Uh, abort, abort, abort. Oh. We can we can be playing My that bad. game forever. All right. All right. Let's go to uh, let's go with uh, how about. This guy, uh, happy, happy H pawn. Hey, happy pawn. <laughs> happy pawn. All right. All right, everyone. <laughs> we're playing a happy pawn, <laughs> and we're a pawn up, so we're happy. Yup, yup. And never give it back. Never. Give never it back. give it back. <laughs> yeah. All right. He's going for some sneaky gambits, but it's not gonna work against us. No way. All right. Um. Now, we just, are working as a team today, so I am, yep, I yep. am eligible to commit, but it might be for the b benefit of the viewers, so you never know. Well, you'll be sometimes allowed to, to call a move. 
Uh, not sure what he's doing here. I'll just do this. And drop your queen? Oh no, I blundered my queen. <laughs> oh, he's too Oh, smart. guess I didn't. <laughs> That's too bad. C3. Oh, is he taking my bishop? Oh, oh, that's a checkmate. <laughs> Love it. All right, one and oh. If our those keeping score at home, one and oh. Yep, yep. Let's see who's next. Let's, let's get some let's just get rated. Uh, what one? about this uh, Raven guy? He thinks he's really good. 21 16, oh, yeah. chess expert. So this, this might be a little bit tougher than the last. Uh, All right. Gentleman. So he goes d4. Let's play the Nimzo. No checks, no checks. Right. Was that a mouse slip? Oh, no, that's just uh, <laughs> what I would play generally. Oh, yeah. So if you guys don't know at home, maybe Benjamin Bach can uh, take some solace in this, too. So if you ever, uh, like, are touching your pawn and don't want to move it, you can just take his king, put it on the white king. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. And that, that way... Right, one, you might win. You might just get to capture the king, or two, you know, they'll just put the pawn back on G, uh, G5. Or G, G7, or wherever, wherever it came from. So now, if you're playing, like, Blitz here, like, live, you know, are you actually going to be showing, like, your main stuff, or are you just, like, fooling around pretty much? Oh, uh, I'm just fooling around. Like, <laughs> I'm keeping all my stuff for the Pro Chess League, because we're oh, going course. for the another yeah. World Championship. <laughs> yeah. 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 And Jeffrey Zhang, he's our secret weapon. Uh, he has not played yet, but I have a feeling that in February... We are going to unleash him, so... We're going to unleash the Jeffrey Show. <laughs> so watch out our opponents in February, including the number one team currently, the Canada Chess Bros. Yeah, the Canada Chess Bros, they're probably our biggest rivals for the World Championship. <laughs> um, yeah, they have uh, Eric Hansen as their manager, but we've got Mike Comer, so, <laughs> like... It all bounced. And anyway, and he's got to be a player manager, so yep. never underestimate that. It's like the playing tournament director. Very difficult, very difficult. Yeah, so, I mean, I know everyone wanted to have, you know, Mike as a, as a player on the stream, on the, on the team, <laughs> but, like, Mike took a step back. He decided, like, nope, not doing that. Nope. I'm just focusing on my managerial <laughs> duties. Okay. And we're going for another world championship. Yep, yep. We, yeah, we actually have two slots still open this year, and I have yep. I have yet to put myself on the team because I would get an even bigger cut of our big bonus check at the end <laughs> of the year. But I, I have resisted the urge. Thomas says hi, guys. Hello, hello, Dimitri. So I think we're doing pretty well. We're pawn up, and we're up on the clock. Um, he's going for some tricks now with queen of five. Are we scared of that, though? No, we're not. <laughs> All right. Oh, you could just take your bishop, huh? Rick takes bishop. But then I take back. And, and then he's, oh, then he's, yep, oh, yep. your knight's also protected by your rook. I did not, yeah. did not see that. Uh-oh, we're going smaller. Uh, Is there any way to get it back? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a tag guy. <laughs> mm. Let's see. Oh, we got, if he takes with the bishop, what, he plays rook d7, but does it even matter? Uh, he'll, he'll take on b5. It's a bit annoying. Um. Okay, I'll just take with the Rook, I guess, though it looks a bit risky, because I want to keep the pawn. Keep the pawn. Yeah. You got a passer, you got a passer, yeah. Ah, but he goes, he goes bishop d3, so we got to be careful of those tricks. <laughs> uh, always let's thinking, just always try thinking. to exchange the queens. Not sure of how I played this. Guy Raven Wolf is playing uh, pretty decent. It's uh, giving us a good match. Yep, yep. Okay, we're still pawn up, and we exchange the queens. <laughs> so 
Okay, he blundered a bishop. We'll take <laughs> it. Yep, yep. All right, we're on our way to two and zero. Yeah, because here at the St. Louis Chess Club, we're building champions. <laughs> always, always, always. So, uh, yeah, get your challenges in. We're playing 3-0 rated. This, this game's going to be over pretty pretty quick. Yeah, only rated, as uh, Olympic uh, Alaska says, only rated. Yep, yep. We're only playing real games here. All right, uh, uh, if, if Maximus... Artricius, if you put in a 3-0 rated challenge, we'll accept it. Oh no, I blundered my rook. <laughs> oh, guess I didn't. Oh. All right. All right. Let's so, see if uh, Maximus is on here. Um, Maximus. Well, we can't find you, unfortunately. Oh, uh, yeah, we can take another challenge from this guy. Okay. This trio. Yeah. So, yeah, so just everyone make sure that you, uh, wait, why are we always playing with black? <laughs> <laughs> maybe they maybe they have a, like, that's a secret challenge, like, yeah. I'm playing white, so. I don't know if that's embedded in the thing or not. All right. Would you approve this, Mike, the modern defense? Uh, sure. I, I, I like to play the uh, dragon Sicilian, so, right? Uh -huh. It's kind of, kind of like, yep. can transpose into it. Yep, yep. I can cover two and oh, all right, all right. So they are keeping track in the back room. Okay, they're not just yeah. back there fooling around. All right. All right. So we're going for the double fianchetto, <laughs> you know. Uh, generally, the bishops are good on the diagonal. So. All right. Let's see what he's going to come up with. Oh, we already increased a lot of rating. Twenty-one ninety-seven now. Yep, yep. And we started, what, 1662? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder how it got big, that big low. Big jump, big jump, big jump. Yeah. Sometimes All our right. uh, chess associates that aren't as good as me and Benjamin play and uh, kind of crush our rating, and then we have to get it back up. Yep. But we got it a good job already. Yeah, so he's got the center, but we should be fine here. So yeah, if you are in St. Louis today and want to play some chess uh, at the chess club, we do have a tournament for you today, the Sunday Six Player Swiss. So that's $10 to enter, six player sections, and two prizes, $40 for the winner, $20 for second place in the Six Player Swiss. So that got, registration ends at 2.45, starts at 3 o'clock, ends by 5. Old Pro Chess League time controls game 15 plus two second increments. Now yep, this yep. year it's game 10 with a two second increment to kind of speed it along. And if you come to the St. Louis Chess Club, you can also meet a legend in person, <laughs> yeah, Michael yeah. J. Comer. Yeah, yeah, I will be directing the, uh, the chess tournament, so who knows, maybe I'll play in it if, uh, if I'm the number one seed in, in section number two. Then I will play in it for sure. All right, so we could take the pawn on d4, but it might have been a bit tricky because like, he would have some tricks on a d-file. So I'm just going uh, knight of six to yep, yep. play solid. Yep, not taking any risks here. <laughs> okay. Now discovered attack on the knight too. Will he see it? Yep. Will he see it? I think he will. So he All did. right. He, that big mistake though, big mistake. Because yep. what's that knight even doing on d6? Nothing. Get him nothing. back there. He got nothing on this. <laughs> Yasser taught me that. When the, the farther a knight's down there, the less squares he's attacking, and he's just like big goof Beginner down mistake. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess he's stopping you from playing rook c8, but he yeah. could be doing better things with his time. Yeah. All right. He goes rook e1. Will we take the pawn, Mike? Yes, we will. <laughs> Now's the time. Now's the time. And now we're Wh threatening e5. Well, e5 hangs the knight, but... e5 hangs the knight. No. But, <laughs> but queen f6. We're threatening it, though. Threatening but we could, we could go knight of 4 in e5. We're in his head. We're in his head. Yep, yep. And he's got he's only got 20 seconds to figure it out. He's in the red. Yeah, and he's oh! hung his knight. Ooh. So you see, like, a knight on d6 looks nice, but eventually you'll just, keep, <laughs> you'll, you'll just blunder it. So yeah, right. don't do that. It's not good. Now he's blundered upon him b2. 
It's and off. he's got 10 seconds left, so he's put up a great game, but he's going down in flames anyway. Yup, yup. You gotta bring a better game to the table if you want to beat uh, me and Mike Comer. All right, ran out of time. All Who right, everyone. Done? Who's next? We gotta get raided. What about toasted? We we yeah. We'll go yep. back to chess experts. Well, we'll, we'll do oh, it. Oh, I'm I'm black again. Like black again. Well, just get used to it. Just get used to it. All right, he's it going to four. Well, do you like the dragon you said? So I'm fianchetting my bishop again. All right. Uh oh, now you're transposing into a part, possibly. I do not. Yeah, I do not approve of the part, that's for sure. Or a king's Indian kind of defense. Yep. 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 Well, I guess if that guy. Well, I guess he could be played c4. I guess it wouldn't be quite the part. Okay, so we're going for the, the pano variation where you go with a6, rook b8, and b5. Interesting. I've never, I've never even considered that before. Yeah, so the point is you try to exchange the c4 pawn for the b5 pawn so you get more control over the center. So that makes that's sense. A, yep, yep. Oh, and now we got we can put our knight on c4 maybe, huh? Yeah, let's so figure so out. Okay, let's try to bring this knight back to... Can I draw arrows here? Like mm -hmm. this? Oh, yep. Okay, beautiful. Because the knight is like on the back. Yeah, so now, we, now the knight's not in danger anymore. Yep, yep. So, yeah, Playing it solid here, not taking any risks. Are you going to trade that bishop off for his bishop? Yep. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Because then we get more control over all the, the light squares. Oh, he's not allowing us to do so. Let's try to attack the. Let's try to attack the center, like this. So we got a kind of. It's kind of like a hippo because we got both the. The knights on d7 and the bishops fianchettoed. But it should be pretty good hippo for us. Um, I guess, are you going to strike with c5 or f5 sometime? I'm, or? I'm keeping that for now, like just protecting the pawn. Okay, so now we'll put the knight to, d, to oh, c4. Perfect, yeah. Yep, yep. Maybe I'll play uh, knight to d2 here. That's what but that, I that's hanging the d2 oh. pawn. See, oh my gosh, all his pieces are so overworked now. Yep, yep. So, yeah, if he takes a pawn on b5, then knight c4 comes, attacking the knight and the bishop. That would be a rookie mistake, and we don't make those at the St. Louis chess club. <laughs> All right, we got knight c4, attacking the bishop. Let's see what he does. Oh, yeah, bishop a1's not even a response. That, yeah, that hangs the pawn. Right. So we're doing pretty well here. I'll try to activate my other pieces as well. And we're up on the clock. He's only got one minute left. There yep. he goes. You blew it. You blew it, kid. He gives a pawn. <laughs> Will we take it? Uh, we can always take that later. Let's just oh, activate the queen first. I will always take it when you. They're giving it to you. Take it. But I guess what is. What is you could play knight to b1 here, I guess. That yeah, but then queen a6. All right, so he's giving us the pawn again. Will we take it? No, we don't even need it. <laughs> we'll just activate our queen. Yasser would be very disappointed in you. Yep, yep. Like <laughs> if you see a free pawn, take it. All right, he's going d5. Are we scared of such uh, shenanigans? <laughs> um... Guess we're not. So what do we do here, Mike? I don't know. Your bishop's pretty bad. Uh oh, and you, he's attacking your other bishop now. Yeah. Um. Let's just go e5. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and then get that pawn and be happy. Yep. Let's take the a3 pawn. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. <laughs> that pawn is going. Pre move. Pre move. <laughs> well, not pre moving. I Queen takes a3. Because he could. Uh, all right. He's gone knight d2. Okay. Mm. I should have taken it earlier when I had the chance. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Should have listened to the manager. Um, let's go for some counter 
play right there with F5. Yep, yep. Okay. So the center is opening up for him. And he's pretty low on time. Bishop B2. Never oh. going to get that pawn. <laughs> Never going to get that All right. We'll just go... Um, we'll just go... We'll just take and go... Mm, I don't know. Let's make a move like bishop h6. All right, but I don't know. Let's just double the rooks this right guy there. Is, he's, this guy's playing a little faster now. He's picking yep. up the pace. He's in the red zone here. All right, let's. All right, tripled up on the f pawn. Okay. That. Let's try to trap his queen. <laughs> He doesn't watch China. We got oh, and he fell for it. <laughs> got gotcha, your queen. So you see, if you don't manage your time, you'll blunder your pieces. Yeah. Rookie mistake right there. Okay, he might be. He might play knight b five here. Yeah, but How that doesn't scare How us. How did he know? How did he know? How did he know? Yep. All right, there boom, goes a rook, boom, and boom, boom, the checkmate's coming in. Yep. All right, toast <laughs> Yeah, he stepped it up, but not. Not good enough to, to have a chance against us. So, what are we now? Let's four and zero. Four and zero. Let's see if uh, Maximus is on here. Is Maximus. Let's okay, see. Can we scroll down a little more. All right. What about this Aditya guy? Aditya. All right. Uh, do we play with Wido? <laughs> I don't think it. Oh, we're black again. <laughs> All right, Mike. You got to change this. Like. We got to figure out a way to so we can be. We got to start. All right, Aditya, you got your uh, you got your wish, Aditya. So make the most of it. You're playing a real life chess grandmaster here at the St. Louis Chess Club. All right, let's go for another fianchetto. Put the bishop on b7. And what is he gonna do? F3. Oh, now now they're getting used to your openings. Now they've seen yep, they've yep. seen what we're up to. Against. That's why we got to switch it up every now and then. Yeah. Bishop g5. Oh. Yeah, if anybody has any suggestions in the chat how we can uh, play as the white pieces, let us know, okay? So if you're sick of all these King Indians, yeah. you know, we, we can switch it up. And we promise we won't play at least on our first game, Knight f3, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> at least on our first game as white. <laughs> Yep, so he's going pretty aggressive against us, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that will work out for him. Um, let's just put the knight, mm, uh, let's just put the knight back. And we'll try to attack the center later with c5. Might be a bit risky because he's got a lot of space, but we got faith. Oh, and now All he's right. stopping C5 even more. Uh, let's give a check here. I like it, I like yep, it. Yep, yep, because G3 hangs the rook. <laughs> well, you got to move your... We're always thinking one step ahead here at the St. Louis Chess Club. So he can play... Oh. Bishop F2. Did not see that happening. Um. Yeah, not sure about that. Let's just take and go castles, and we'll just blow up the center. All right. Um, what are we doing now? Let's just play f6. Try to open up. If he takes, we'll take back with the queen. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we, yeah, we got the time edge. We got the rating edge. We're, we are a real life chess master now. You got us from 1600 to chess master like that. Yep, yep. <laughs> so that was great. So I read on your bio yesterday that it was your birthday yesterday. Was that yeah, true? it was. All yeah, right. it was my birthday yesterday. Birthday celebration. So this is yeah. like your birthday weekend. Hang out, yeah. play the people. He's a man yep. of the people. <laughs> Yeah, just happy to give give back to, uh, like you said, give back to the people, you know? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. All right, let's bring in the knights and try to go for some tricks. Okay, yeah, and we got the tie match again. So, Aditya has to step it up at some point. But, I mean... 
must be pretty intimidating playing like against someone who's managed by a world champion. Yeah, you know, and, so. and he's sitting right next to him, giving him all the, the great advice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what chance do you really have? Yeah. But yeah. He, he tried he tried good. I mean you you gotta you gotta he, at least he took the game too. Yeah, at least he tried, you know. So I kind of respect him for that. All right, let's take and bring in the other knight. Just remove the defenders, you know. So, so your first uh, appearance as a St. Louis Archbishop. Yep. Was uh, playing the game two, came ten plus two, the Battle Royale in the uh, Pro Chess League, right? Yeah, that was last year. Last year. Um, so uh, yeah, that was my first appearance, and yeah, I'm also happy to have made my debut for this year. Yes. yes. Uh, oh, the, didn't he just hang the night? He Mike? just hung the night. Yeah, this game is in the books. This game is in the books. Yep, yep. So, so did, do you like playing the game ten plus two or the game fifteen plus two? Uh, yeah, I like I like both, but yeah, ten plus two uh, maybe a little bit more because I like blitz is my best time control. So I feel like the faster it gets, is generally better for me. Um, so yeah, 10 plus 2 probably. Uh, yeah. so, so at the U.S. Uh, Collegiate Rapid and Blitz, you did take home some hardware in the Blitz category, correct? Yep, yep. I won, the, I won uh, silver. Like I came second right behind Darius, a uh, teammate of mine. And at the Midwest Collegiate Blitz Championship, I won. So... I increased my rating in both tournaments. Um, yeah, kind of. Yeah, we can play. We can play Misk Miska A4. Yep. Miska four. Miska All right. Let's see what you got, Miska. Or Misk A4. You never know. Maybe I'll start up with A4. Everyone's Even going D4 here. Yep. So we're going for another like modern defense. And let's go. I don't know. Knight of six. Okay, so we got some kind of King's Indian here, like a King's Indian actually. So let's try to get him out of book somehow. Oh, Mr. It's only a name. I am celebrating my birthday today, but it's a few days early. It's yeah. always cool, yeah, yeah, just stretch out your birthday. Like yep. Benjamin had his birthday <laughs> yesterday, but he's still celebrating it right here, yeah. It's, yeah, when you have a birthday week, yeah, just celebrate it as much as you can. Just yeah. celebrate it all year through, you know? Like. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Every day is a birthday celebration. Yeah. yeah that's how you got to live your life, huh? Every day is a celebration. All right. So he's weakened the light squares around his king. Big and, mistake. Yeah, rookie mistake right <laughs> there. And we'll try to take advantage of that. Uh, let's just exchange the knights. And now we're preventing him from ever playing a four. So yep, <laughs> bring in, bring in the knight. Okay, he takes it. That's another mistake. Now we got this strong bishop who just came to life. Bring out the queen. Yeah, we can and always check you. We can always check you. Yep, yep. But not well, not when your queen's under. And if he's not careful, he's gonna fall into some tricks. All right. So the, the so king h one is of course strongly recommended in this position. Yeah, he has to do something about bishop h3. <laughs> yes. Actually, I don't know what, I think that's the only move in this position, king h1. Yeah. And he found it, all right. I can play like a 1400. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got the bishop on e5, pretty solid. Once again, this bishop's just controlling the board. And, okay, he's trying to bring the knight back to defense, but is that going to work for him? I doubt it. Well, what's bishop d7 going to do? No, we'll just take him <laughs> d5. I mean, is he really going for this pawn? He is He is misc a4, so <laughs> he loves that a file. Let's see All what he does. Right. See what um, he does. It's going to be hard to crack through here. Let's be greedy. Like Yasser, you know, like he likes a pawn, so yeah. we'll protect them. Right. All right. Let's see what he does. But we'll just try to put. Okay, he goes bishop b5. That's actually a pretty good move because I wanted to play bishop d7. But he was one step ahead of us. Okay, let's try to. It's a pity. 
but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And Benny's gonna attack your rook with queen. Some okay. So yeah. Okay, let's thing. put this rook here. And let's double up on the C file. All right, he takes. Yeah, we'll take back yeah, with the don't, queen. Yeah, don't give him a, a passed pawn. Yeah, big mistake. Big mistake. All right. Um, this guy's actually, after he found king h1, he's kind of picked it up a little bit. Yeah, he's playing pretty well now. It's not going to be easy to uh, win this game, but we'll, we'll try. Uh, but I think we have to. What about rook to c5? But he can take that. And then... Oh, uh, okay. Bad, 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 bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Yeah, let's just take and put the, put the king here to get out of any checks. I love it. Okay, that might be a big mistake. Is he in time? <laughs> yeah. No, he isn't. Yes, yes, he's yes. not in the box. He's not in the box. <laughs> Gotta make sure you were in there. Yep, yep. Mm. If he would have taken Mike's lessons at the St. Louis Chess Club about pawn end games, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> yeah. He really messed that up. Yep. Uh, according yep. to Adrian Daigle, yep. If you. Uh, where, where, where did he say? What did he say? Oh, we, we can, we'll accept Adro 81's challenge and we can play as the white pieces the next time. Okay. Yeah, you're not fast. All right, nice try, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure what he's doing here. Hey, well, I always, I always go for the, oh. oh <laughs> yep, there we have the checkmate. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but good game, Miska. Um, yeah, he, like, we got a nice position out of the opening, but then he stepped it up really well, so. And then just. All right, so, A, Adrian. A, Adro. Adro. Let's see if we can find Adro. He guaranteed us if we, A, and Adro, if we end up being the black pieces, we're going to abort the game, too. Yeah, and you'll never get All a right, game well, again. All right, well, here's Maximus. He's been begging for a game okay. forever. Oh, we're uh, black again. Of course, of course, of course. D4 once again. Well, let's play another. Okay, like next game we'll do something else, okay? Yeah, okay. All right, so we're attacking the center right away. We're losing no time. <laughs> okay, so let's take this guy and go knight to c6. If he takes, we'll reinforce our center. Miska Sokus says good game, good game. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, good thanks. Game. All right, let's attack the pawn on b2 with the bishop and the rook c3. Let's go h5. Let's have some fun. Wow, wow. This is nobody. Oh, I hate it when they play that. Yeah. Boring. <laughs> Boring. All right, let's bring on the knight. Well, this guy, I guess, could still theoretically play e4, but. Yeah, but that's really worry us. It doesn't. Okay, I think the opening went pretty well for us. Um, let's just play d6. Yep. And yeah, we got nice pressure on the b file. Uh, we can go. All right, so now we see the advantage of going h4, h5. Like, we have a nice knight on g4. And now he can't attack it anymore with h2, h3. So that's always the point of going this. Is he going to just play f3 and say go away? Uh, f3 would be a rookie mistake. Queen b6 <laughs> resigns. Oh. oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, I'm always a fan of never playing my f pawns, but now I know why. Now I know yep. why. Yep. All right, let's go bishop a6. So, yeah, this bishop is controlling this diagonal. Nice. Okay, let's go 95, try to... Try to get a knight to d3. A leaf in the wind. Maybe we will play you next, leaf in the wind. We'll try, we'll try. That way we'll yep. get the white pieces. All right, everyone. <laughs> so, yeah. He has to do something about knight d3. Queen c2. Uh, nice try, buddy. Let's just bring out the queen. Yep. 
Like rule number one, always try to activate all of your pieces. Wonderful. And now he's got problems developing. Like he can't move the rook here because that runs to bishop d3. A4, like <laughs> what is that? It's like get out of here, queen. Get it's not out a of champion here. move. <laughs> Alright, it's time to cash in. We'll go knight d3, take the bishop, and then take that pawn. Because you can, like, improve your pieces. He can't even play. But at some point, you just got to cash in, you know, like, you got to take the pawn. Yep, thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, he's giving us another pawn. Will we take it? Yes, we will. Almost too easy, and this guy waited a long time to play us, too. I mean, it's not easy playing, uh, like, know that you're being watched by uh, the manager of the St. Louis Chess Club. <laughs> uh, I think I figured out who B Easy is. B Easy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm trying to get the rook to b8. Uh, How hard is it? Yep, there you go. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Okay, um, let's go. Let's try to win by some tricks here, you know? Oh, he did. Yep, he fell for it. Sometimes you just want to expedite the game. Yep. All right, let's 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 get... Uh, Who's next? Let's see. Uh, let's get Leaf in the wind. He guaranteed we'll oh. have the white pieces. Oh, thank you very much. All right, okay, here what, we go. What do you like, Mike? E4? E4, yeah. sure, why not? I let's play, I play, play both. That doesn't matter. Oh, all, all right. right, all right. The center counter defense. All right. Yeah, I, I like the delay knight c3. Yep, yep. Let's keep him guessing, you know? <laughs> All right, bishop g4, trying to take the center. Not sure about that, buddy. Okay, let's just castle. And once again, we keep him guessing. Do we gonna, Do we want to go knight c3 or... Yeah. Yep, we'll go for c4, grab some more space. Let's go queen b3, attack that pawn right there. Nice, you just move the queen again, queen c7, let's go. Yep. <laughs> Can we go bishop f4? Or if you want to, if you want to have some fun, if you want to have some fun. Uh, let's just... <laughs> I mean, you can always just play queen c8, right? Yeah, but that, that would be a big concession for him. Big concession. Uh, let's just go knight c3. You're getting away with it this time, Freezer. But next time, <laughs> next time we'll punish you for such lousy moves. I mean, well, we have a great position anyway. Okay, H3. He was trying to trick us by taking the knight and then get that pawn there. But that, we're not going to blunder that easy, you know? No way. Okay, no let's way. just develop the pieces. All right. Um, let's put this rook here. This rook right there. All right, rook on the same file as the queen. A5, I don't know, let's just play A3, whatever. So yeah, we got more space, so he's giving up the pawn. Uh, we'll just take it. Except, except prove it, prove it. Yep, now you got to prove it, Freezer. If you don't have any comp, we'll have the pawn. <laughs> yeah. Where's the comp? Where's the comp, bro? Where's the comp? Yeah. I mean, like, as you get to play with the St. Louis Archbishops, you know, you, you can't afford any risks like that because Mike is ruthless, you know? He'll just throw you out of the team. <laughs> right. All right. And it's, it's that mentality that almost got Fabiano uh, a world championship. But he just he just fell short, you know. Like, I feel like his biggest mistake was not taking you to the match in uh, 
New York. I was really thinking about that. Yeah, in our interview right in San Francisco, he even yep. said, he even said, well, maybe if I had Mike on my team, maybe it would have worked out different. And that's 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 on that's on YouTube. So that's that's public record. Yep. <laughs> All I, right. He just went C5, weakening some squares, but that's not going to work for him. Um oh, what's up? Oh, oh, oh. I just saved, I just saved you your queen. I just saved Thanks you. a lot, manager. <laughs> um, A4. Uh, let's just move the queen back. All right. All right. Safe and sound. Safe and yep. sound. <laughs> yeah, so it's really the teamwork that you see right here that's, <laughs> that's bringing us all the world championships. Shout out to uh, Gidges. <laughs> Um, is this WCM Iris Z? Let's if 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 yeah, just give us your hang your handle Iris Z, and you might be able to accept your challenge. I don't know. Let's take here. If he takes with the bishop, we might have some tricks with Rook D6. If you approve of that, uh, let's have some fun. All it's right. low on time anyway. Okay. Yep. Yep. So yeah, if he takes with the bishop, queen is hanging. Yeah, right. If he moves the queen, he's gonna run into some like I'll take. At that point, I would just say, well, with ten seconds left, I would just take the rook, yeah. take the knight, and get two for one, and see what happens. But it's too late now. This game is in the books. Yep. Eight time and O. Oh. His time is about to run out. You know. Yep. All right. He put up a nice fight with the Scandinavian, but not quite good enough. Not, just not quite good enough. Because. All right, let's play. Uh, I don't know. Who haven't we? Who, we already played him. We haven't played him yet. All right. So I'm, I'm of course, All international right. arbiter Michael J. Cummer, team manager yep. of the world champion, the reigning champion Archbishop, alongside his fellow St. Louis Archbishop teammate and world champion, Benjamin yep. Bach. And we are. Taking on 3-0 rated challenges, and so far we are 8-0, unblemished. Yeah, so he's going for E5, but pff, I mean, I don't know, buddy. It's only going to, yeah, what is he doing uh, even? Yeah, that's not good. That's not going to work for you, you know? <laughs> like, we'll just take here, we'll go E4, and like, next game. <laughs> right. So when they have a question mark, that... That means they don't even know what they're rated, and uh, this guy oh, is okay. obviously not even rated 1342, unfortunately. Yep. All right. So, Iris Zhao, we are, have been challenged by WCM Iris Zhao. All Zow. right. So, he has to go C6. We'll take that. Then he'll probably exchange queens, but we'll take back with the knight. And he's still got... Oh. Oh. That's oh, the, buddy. That is yep. game. That's game. Actually, yeah, you can just pre-move queen takes... D7. No, you can also put the queen here, but we can oh. pre, we can pre-move this. Yep. Uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, he, yep. he did your trick. He did your trick. All right. Actually, that, that uh, still would have been checkmate, right? Because queen yeah. takes and then queen takes pawn checkmate, right? Uh. So if you like if you play queen D7, oh, he could have taken take with, with the, the king. king. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I I played it. You, you played it. You played it good. You played it good. All right. So let, let's get uh, St. Louis N one. That is WCM Iris yep. Zhao. There we go. All right. So we have a a title player yep. challenging us. Let's see what he's got. Is he a uh, N M? It's Iris Iris Zhao is a female uh, W WCM. All right. Iris Zhao. So we got. So we'll try to confuse him here with the opening. You know, let's make him think early on. Yep. I don't know. Let's just do something. Gidges also says sometimes the question marks also means they didn't know engines are cheating. Oh. I don't know what that really means. So so is it not advisable to play people with a question mark? I don't know. We'll just crush them anyway. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it I, all. I can, I can swear that guy was not playing with an engine because yeah, uh, like you don't. Know, if you lose in thirty moves with an engine, like that engine is from like the year sixteen hundred <laughs> or something. <laughs> yes, yes. It's better to use your own brain than losing sixteen moves or thirteen moves. Right. 
That's why I really like these fast time controls. Yep. No increment or delay. I mean, yeah, no. You know, you probably don't even have that much time to. Yeah. To cheat. You don't like cheaters here at the St. Louis Chess Club. We're, a, we're building champions here. <laughs> yes, that's all. All right, so we'll just try to play against these weak pawns, and yeah, let's see if we can get something working, you know. So this is Ira Zhao. She actually led our team to victory against Zugdidi, the baby archbishop. Uh -huh. <laughs> so she was board one, and we prevailed in, in match one. In match mm -hmm. two, not so much. Maybe we'll have yeah. to do a tiebreaker. All right. Um, let's take back like this. And, yeah, once again, we'll try to attack these weak pawns. Um... Okay. You say they're weak. They look kind of formidable to me, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, they're they're fine for now. Yeah, I I don't know. Let's just put the rook here, I guess. But you so you're not afraid of d4. I mean d4. It's a move, but we'll move the rook back. <laughs> and then we're threatening tricks with knight takes d4. Wonderful. Wonderful. Bishops. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, let's just move the rook back here. Scary, we don't scary stuff. Scary stuff. And now this pawn is, is weak again, you know? I love it. So we'll uh let's just go rook here. Right, attack so this now guy. D4, is D4 uh, will go E3. <laughs> oh, because oh, it's in the same yep. same line as the queen. Uh let's go E3. Like now he can go D4 anymore. Oops. Um yeah, so he's played this pretty well, like the last couple moves, but I still like our position. Let's go knight here, go for some cheapos. All right, rook d8 obviously is coming. Yeah. Yep, and um, let's bring out the queen, go for some more cheapos, you know? Like, if you don't know what you're doing, just go for some cheap tricks. <laughs> I love it. What about queen e6 here? Uh, then we'll bring the knight back. Queen, yep, and he does it. Or is it a... Uh, it's a she, yeah. Oh, she, sorry. Iris. Yeah. WCM, Iris Zhao. So, <laughs> she wants to go d4. Uh, let's just attack the queen. All right, put it in a pin. Yep. Queen up six, let's go. Do we have any tricks? Uh, let's just put the queen here. So, Probably we threaten to take here, because like this rook will always be hanging at the very end of all the captures, you know? Yeah. So, as you see, uh, WCM, Women's Canada Master, Iris out playing very well, but yep. Grandmasters are relentless. They'll never, they'll never give in, they'll just yep. keep pounding, pounding away, creating all these little uh, weaknesses, and eventually you're going to fold. Either not on the board, but on time. All right, so we can take the pawn here. I guess if we take, she takes back, we'll take again. I don't know, like, let's just attack it one more time. We are not open for any chess variants, so don't even challenge us. Now. All right, let's take here, go, uh, let's take here and go knight h5. All right. So yep, yep. So we got... Queen g6. Okay, yeah, we'll take and bring the knight back. Oh, there's... Okay, yeah, now we got the pawn. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's into a winning endgame? Well, all right, let's yeah. put the rook on the seventh. Uh, let's keep that pawn under attack. All right. Um, let's go g4. F5. Oh, let's right. go h3. Big check. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, let's move up the king. Knight b4. Oh, she's playing pretty well, but playing we're going... Too little! Well, she's been playing well all day, but, but it's just too late. It's just too late. I guess. But we'll try to get the, the w anyway. <laughs> uh, let's just... I don't know. Play king up. Knight there. Let's play here. Yeah, not too sure of my technique here. But it but doesn't matter. We, two seconds, one second. 
Yep. Let's bring the knight back. Yep. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. 10 and uh, 0. 10 and 0. Oh. That's, a, that's a good number. That's a good number. Yeah. Uh, but good game. Uh, St. Louis uh, and one. Yep, yep. Yeah. yeah, she defended really well. So who's next? Like, who, who's been begging uh, for a challenge? Adro1 says, I bet you can't beat Adro81. Adro81. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Oh. <laughs> All and, right. And he gave us the white pieces. Let's so. go for D4 this game. Okay. What kind of opening do you uh, like, Mike? I like D4, C4, Knight C3, and then I think that's the most solid of all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Let's go for for this stuff. Yep, he's going for the King's Indian. B6, really, huh? <laughs> so you just yeah. Yeah, let's just go for some tricks, you know. He might think oh, like, oh, he gave nice C6, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> there you go, Even. Andro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You gotta bring something better to the table if you're playing a grandmaster. Oh, uh, we can. It doesn't even like. Oh, this is punishment. That's not even fair. Yep, yep. You better play E5 real quick or something to make. I don't even uh, know if that E5, works. E5 97 and doesn't you still, work. And you still have no spots for your queen. Yep. Queen's trapped. So it's looking tough for. Uh, yeah. Oh, does that help him at all? Queen C8, maybe. It 97. Does. It doesn't. Oh. So, yep. Nice try, Mr. Andro, but you're going down. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's just take back. Bring back the knight. All right. Yep, we can take a pawn, so we'll take it. Yep. Um, yeah, nice try by Andrew 81 but like Mike said, to beat world champions, need to bring something better to the table. Because we're, we're ruthless here, you know? All right, bring out the bishop. Harvey the Broad asks, hey Mike, have you ever played Benjamin before? I have luckily never had the pleasure and never want to. I did get a big game against former Webster Windmill, Dennis Burrow, in a game 30 D zero game. Oh, and I thought I had him. I thought I won a piece. Yeah. So as but we're talking, he uh, never meant to be. He, he he's, again. Uh, he's sacrificed another rook, but I'm not sure if that's gonna. <laughs> okay, play king. So he's got four pieces. You have five pieces and a queen. I like your chances. I like yeah. your chances. So he has to like go king h8. Do it for the fans, you know. Do it for the fans. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Please don't resign here. Uh, get, oh, so something. I wanted to show, like, if he goes here, we'll give a check. He goes back, we'll give another check. He goes back, queen h8, he takes it, knight f7, checkmate. <laughs> yeah, it's called the smothered mate. Look it up. It's, yeah. it's a wonderful checkmate. All right. Who's next? Any, any, anyone in the want. chat who wants to really play? And, well, um... Who else was saying? Oh, Nukem plays, please. Uh, Nukem, N U K E M. Yep. All we'll right. give him a challenge. All right, Nukem, we got your back. We got your yep. back. All right. So let's go for something different this time. Let's go for the, what's it called? The Torres system. It's very solid. All right. Well, let's bring on the bishop. I'm not sure about that. Okay, uh, let's try to gain some space over there. 97. Okay, um, oh, that hangs a pawn. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna hang a pawn and move nine, you know, like. At least have some kind of compensation. I guess it's yeah. just a complete loss. Yeah, it's just hopeless. After taking, oh, and he, he's sec, well, he, he's got rookie eight, so he'll get some stuff back, but we'll take another pawn, be greedy, you know, and let's bring the bishop back to the 
h4 square. <laughs> so we have this square for our knight. Because I I could have put it on a3, but then I can't develop my knight anymore. But always trying to think one step ahead. Okay, let's bring out the knight. And now we have knight b5 tricks, oh. but he wants to do some stuff here, so we're not letting we're not letting that happen. Takes, you know, we'll take it back. We have the D file now, buddy. And yeah, he doesn't have much going for him. Yeah. Uh, you gotta put anything on. Yeah, that's what let's, I was Let's let's bring out the knight. Bishop coming in. Yep, yep. Bishop f6. Yeah, I don't know why uh, this guy wants to trade into a losing end game, but yeah. Uh, let's just move up the king. Yep. So we got two extra pawns, and I guess I took plenty of chess lessons from Mike. I know how to convert now. <laughs> so <laughs> easy peasy. I leaf in the wind. You already got the play. So once you get the play, you know we got a lot of people in the yep. in the queue. I'm, unfortunately, there will be no rematches today. All right. So let's just put the rook here. Try to wipe out the entire seven rank. All right, we'll just take play g3. It's just completely okay. Yeah, we got a winning pawn in game here. I think we can pre-move pretty much everything here. <laughs> well, let's do this. I mean, check. Okay, we'll just try to. Can you make multiple pre-moves here? Uh, no, just one. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the big difference between our. Our wonderful account uh, on chess.com, which yep. uh, of course supports the uh, Pro Chess League. You can make multiple pre moves, but every time you do make a pre move on chess.com, you lose 0.1 second. Yep. Uh, but on here, uh, just one pre move allowed. All right. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just take all the pawns. <laughs> uh, take another pawn. No, we're not letting King D5 happen. No counterplay, limit the counterplay, and then yep. all they can do is resign. Yep. Um, all right, do we have anyone else who really wants to play us? According to Leaf in the Wind, yeah. we didn't play him. That uh, doesn't sound right. Well, let's, right be, well, let's be nice to him. All right, well, Leaf in the Wind. All right, it says 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, so I guess he was telling the truth. All right. Yep. Very honest uh, guy, leap in the wind. So, okay, let's play. Let's see. Let's see what he does. <laughs> let's play the London this time. All right, got a Komsky's. Yep, secret favorite. weapon. <laughs> yes, yeah, secret <laughs> weapon. Yeah. All right. Um, we'll just develop here. Let's make a square for the bishop so he can always drop back under any circumstance. <laughs> All right, we got 93 players watching now. All right. Yep, yep. Can we break 100? Can we break? So yeah, the London system, it's pretty solid. You just uh, develop your pieces. You don't need to really need to worry about anything. So you just put the bishop here, the knight here, the bishop here, and like the knight usually it goes to d2. Yeah, yeah. And then you take it from there. I wonder what he's thinking about. I mean, it looks like a pretty easy uh Opening to play against, yep. or, or to play as both colors. I mean, this should not take you a minute and ten seconds if you're a chess expert to make what your ninth or eighth move. Come on, yeah, just get it yeah, going. Yeah, Mike would not approve of that. Right. I mean, you used like two or one third of your time already, and it's not even move ten. That's all right. Now you're almost half your time. Yeah, it's and not not a winning no, formula. There's no increment here. <laughs> no increment. Yeah, you can't get bailed out like in the. Pro Chess League. 
So our big match uh, this week is against the California Unicorns. Yep. So two players that wanted to be an Archbishop this year um, are playing for the Unicorns. Their number one board, uh, your uh, your uh, your teammate at SLU, Darius Swartz, is going yep. to actually be leading the California Unicorns. And then Grigory Operin uh -huh. from uh, Mizzou Chess fame, University of Missouri, Columbia, will be playing as well. He actually has a 2707 rapid rating. So oh. even though we're, we're favored in all 16 games, <laughs> it, it might be a little oh, bit of a Mike, challenge. Mike, do you uh, see the trick? Do I see a trick? Probably. You're a bishop to c7? Yep, that's it. <laughs> that queen is going nowhere. So actually, I I did when I used to do the beginner breakdown uh, program back in yep. 2014, 2015, I actually had two, uh, two episodes called Don't Lose the Queen. Uh -huh. And that's how they lost the queen. Uh -huh. They always get corralled in by that bishop. Yeah, the London system is pretty tricky, you know? You think that Bishop is doing nothing over there, but then you don't watch out for one move, and it, it's coming after you. So, um, let's just, I don't know. Yeah, love it, love it. And give him a big chuck. Yep, <laughs> let's give it a Why check. not, why not? <laughs> it might have been that might have Yeah, been. we'll take here, and now the knight. Oh, so yeah, it's called removing the defender. All right. Yep. This guy's time management was bad. His tactics were bad. It was like, yep. but I'm glad we got to play. I got glad we got to play. Uh, yep. Happy to. Uh, yeah. Like we're happy to give anyone a game. Yep. All right. So we're a queen up, but does he have enough compensation? <laughs> All right, oh, he goes for that. Pin, but uh, let's take another pawn. All right, we're attacking the rook. He sees it. We can take another pawn on the F. Okay. Uh, let's just take another pawn. And now, some. Let's go G four. Let's see. Get away! Get away! Knight G seven. Oh, yeah. Oh, the old back row checkmate. Yeah. The red Bobby Fisher teaches chess, buddy. All right, let's see who's next. Is there anyone uh, in the chat who wants a game? Uh, Magus kind of wants one. Magus. Uh, Jesus, Chris. Jesus, Chris. Man, we're going with Boris, man. <laughs> uh, uh, let's play this guy. All right. Oh, another, another chess expert. Another chess expert. Let's see who. See what we do again. So, what do you want to play, Mike? What opening? Oh, you like the C5? Yes, C5 is always fun. Uh, I don't know. Let's play this. Ooh, Anton C is kind of calling you out for the next game. All right, All right. Anton C. Okay, we'll give him a game. <laughs> we'll we'll try to find you. If we can't find you, well, can't find you. Okay, so you might be uh, okay. So now the pawn on C three is kind of weak, so let's try to take advantage of that. Put the rook here. Shout out to Jack Mardu. Queen B three. Well, that just runs into knight A five. Big mistake, buddy. You would never do something like that, right? I like Queen B six. I'm not really a big fan of Queen B three. Like mm. Queen doing other stuff. Yeah, uh, let's just play, I don't know, let's put the knight here. Mm -hmm. and oh, back to B, <laughs> back to B3. Yeah, let's go bishop B7, you know, develop. Okay, knight C, knight, sorry, knight D2. Um, we'll just, we'll just annoy him, you know, yeah. let's keep the knights on the board. So Ben Fango used to have a trick where he would put his queen on A4, I guess mm -hmm. it would get attacked. He put it on d1, and yep. then play queen to h5. Then, like uh -huh. like a triangle thing. I, I don't know if any other grandmasters really do that. Okay. I don't know if that's a if that's a real maneuver. Third. Right, let's try to. Oh. 
try to. This guy's actually take ahead the, on time, though. So yep. kudos to him. He's okay. Now uh, we got knight again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he has a knight on c4 again. This guy's mm -hmm. got to figure this out. Okay, and let's double the rooks. There you go. Maybe he was listening to us. Queen h5. Let's go. <laughs> get, that, get that checkmate attack going. Oh, this guy. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll let him exchange the knights. Like, sure. if he really wants to, like, whatever. Let's go b5. Try to soften up the pawn structure over here. Yeah, this Let's guy go. needs to start thinking about checkmate here, because you have no defenders on your uh, king side. Yeah. I mean, yeah. maybe bishop f8, but good luck. Uh, he, he needed to get on the ball. I mean, rook b3 ain't going to cut it, okay? You're playing a grandmaster here. Okay. Um, let's just go... I don't know. Let's go queen here. Try to attack his weaknesses. I don't know. But yeah, what, 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 what's going on on the b-file so, so good, guy? Uh, let's put... I don't know. Let's play g6, I guess. Solid. <laughs> Solid. But it's not hard to, it's not easy to break through here on the on the queen side. So he's putting up a solid defense. Okay, and he's still go, ahead on time somehow. Let's go queen a4. We got a game, we got a game. Yep, yep. Okay, and now let's go b4. Let's give it to him. If he takes, we might just take him b4, you know. He needs a take with the rook if he knows what's good for him. But that, that's too much, you know, like, I'll take with the bishop. Oh, yeah. Good point, good point, good point. Yeah, so he has to figure out what he wants to do here. Okay, f5, interesting, but we're not afraid of that. No way, no way. He can try some rook b7. Okay, he takes, we'll just take back. Our king is pretty safe over here. And we got this pawn marching down the board. <laughs> and we're ahead on time, all right. All right, uh, let's take He's this guy. He's falling apart. This guy is falling apart. Okay, we'll take another pawn, buddy. <laughs> witch. It's always nice to do oh, a and witch. We can, just, we can just take him C2 in the next move. Yeah, it's not hard to win when you have two guys playing one guy. How do, how do, how do you know he's not at home with all his cronies playing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what this guy is up to. All right, so, yeah, he played. Oh, did he just give up? Yeah, well... On the next move, we can take on c2, and if he takes, we'll now be The check was up. just too yeah. much. Once he gets checked, he says, all right, I'm throwing in the yeah. towel. <laughs> uh, yeah, who's who's next? Right, Jack Mark Dib has my back. Yeah, who says the other guy's alone? Okay, all right, let's see what we got. Where's Antoine? Is he Antoine. up? Yeah, it's Antoine yeah. C. Let's yeah, let's game. go. Yeah, he wants all right. a game. Let's play. Uh, he was calling you see. out, too. He was calling you out. He's like... Yeah, we got to the master level really quick, mm -hmm. like within like four games, maybe three, four games. And since yep, then, yep. it's just, even though we win every game, our rating only goes up a little. I guess yeah. I guess in real life, that's got to be uh, kind of, not dramatic, but it's kind of like, dang. Yeah, like it's, it's kind of really, I mean, you yeah. have to be good consistently over yeah. a long period of time to become a grandmaster. It's no, no joke. I don't just give out the title. Yeah, so we got the center here. He's going knight h5, but like we don't fall for for stuff like that. Okay, let's let's put the bishop here, and we'll we'll try to go aggressive on this guy. You know, like he's trying to make fun of us with moves like b6. Like, what is he doing? Okay, so wait, what move? Is Bishop is, is F8. Is G4 just a winner? I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, Antoine. Gotta be careful, C. you know. Right? What? What's uh, yeah, yeah. like Knights on the rim or grim? Our grim, exactly. <laughs> All right, knight in the center. Well, it's just a free knight. Another free knight. Uh, Bishop to B7, I guess. Big threat. Yeah, Big he has threat. to. He has to try some tricks, but. It's not gonna work. Bishop d6. All right. Uh, let's just put the. Mm, let's just take here. Wow. Yeah, and take the knight. All right, buddy. So we got queen f3 coming next. 
Might we have to recheck? Might try to take some more uh, more stuff. Always good to take it stuff. Yep. Queen H4. Well, he sacks it. <laughs> let's let's play for the people. You know, let's go for checkmate. Checkmate. All right. Yep. So we're threatening here. We're threatening here. He's got nothing on us. Well, he can take your H pawn. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, All there right. you go, Antoine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a checkmate coming in. Uh, yeah. Let's give a check here. The bishop's going to deliver the final blow, it looks like. Or the queen. Or the queen. Yeah. All right. Uh, Benjamin sees everything. That's right. <laughs> Play Carl V, please. Okay, Carl V. If we can find you, you've got yourselves a game. And thank you for the majority of uh, the players, especially the people that are doing, uh, saying, please play me, please, please. Uh, thank you for following the instructions of 3-0 rated chess. Yeah. It really helps speed things along. Yep. All right, we got ourselves another King's Indian. So let's see, uh, let's see what kind of setup he does. Because there are a lot of setups why I can choose from. You uh, oh, should have played f4. You should have played f4. Yeah. <laughs> really? Put the pressure on. H3. Oh, okay, let's go e5. D5. Oh, let's go a5. So yeah. we want to put the knight here. And once we put the knight on c5, it can never be bothered by... Uh, 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 B4. Yes, Sorry. Wonderful. Yep. So we're going. We're trying to go for F5. Yeah, we uh, got yeah, he never played G4. I thought that would be the follow-up to H3. G4, right? Well, let's put this knight here. So we can. Uh, let's just go F5. You know, that's what the King's Indian is all about. I think we're doing pretty well here. We got our f5 counterplay going, and uh, 92. Well, let's let's sec let's sec try to uh, let's just go bishop b7. You know, just develop. All right, get into the game. Maybe next move we can go a4. And all right, he goes f4. Probably trying to stop you from playing F4. But let's just take this guy. And yeah. Okay, he takes back with the bishop. Let's just go Queen E7. You know, we're keeping it simple. Just developing our pieces. This rook is coming to E8. Our knights are controlling quite a bit of squares around the center. Okay, he goes. Uh oh. Any uh -oh. tricks? We, we have knight d3, right? Oh, uh, we also have fe, you know, like attacking this bishop and this one. All right, well, that's a that's that's even better. That's yep, even yep. better. All right, he decided to sacrifice the bishop, I guess. Just didn't see it, probably. Just didn't see it. Yeah. Yep. So Carl, yeah. you played all right, and then yep. It's what happens when you play grandmasters. It's uh, yep. Thanks for the game. All right, everyone. Let's see who's next. Um, anyone in chat? Um, uh, um, whatever. It's he it claims it's his birthday. He's a birthday boy too. Uh, who's who's claiming it's his birthday? Um, Let's play. whatever. Um, whatever. All right, we'll give him a game. Well, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bring it though. We're sixteen and zero. Yep. This is this is huge. This is huge. This is birthday. This is birthday. All right. <laughs> so I might have to help you on this one. I might. Yeah. <laughs> so it's his birthday. Big today, check. Big check. Yeah, right. If it's your birthday, you give out the checks. Give out the checks. All right. Let's so take this bishop. All right, bishop e two. Oh, he took. He took. Big mistake. All right, so it's already conceded. All right, let's thing. bring on the knight. D4. Oh, we'll take that. He takes back with the knight. 
Yeah, that's... He can do that, but... We got the two bishops now. I think we're doing great. Probably bring queen to d2 and try to bring down. Yeah, we'll just castle here. Yeah, so what's this guy waiting for? All right. Playing uh, a little two pass. Let's so. put the rook on the half open file. And right, here we'll comes play, that queen to d2 maneuver. We'll play b5, trying to gain some space here. A3. Let's put the queen here. This position is pretty solid, though. Let's play rook here. I don't know. So yeah, so this is actually so um whatever is up five to four against the uh, the team at the uh, St. Louis Chess Club. So this is our chance to even it up the score. Oh, he's played like the a few, uh, yeah he played nine times against us and uh, won five, uh -huh. lost four. Yep. All right. So we're attacking this pawn. Let's see what he does about it. Knight b3, well, that's hanging that guy over there. Will we take it? Yes, we will. <laughs> of course, of course. Yep, yep. But we're not going to be greedy. We're not going to be greedy. When I play book b1, we're going right back to g7. We're going right back. We can also go to c3. Yeah. We're going to be greedy. <laughs> yeah. I like it, I like it, I like it. Yep, yep. Oh, and, and he, did, falls and he for didn't it. see it. He didn't see the old... But there, maybe there was nothing he could even do about it. Yeah, he was probably just lost. Like, his position is just collapsing. Okay, queen d3. Trading into an uh, endgame when your piece is down. It's not a good idea, buddy. And Let's you got bring this. in the rook. Oh, even better, even better. We're going to... Everybody would have said go to the second rank. We're gonna nope, he's going to the third Wipe out the, the third rank. <laughs> yes. Yep, yep. All right, let's so ooh, let's take this board. Thinks he's gonna play us a good game here. Knight c6. Oh, that's some. He's trying to go for some tricks here, but it's not gonna work against us. Bishop f2. We'll just take here. Rookie yeah. seven. Oh, because that checkmate. Yep. Yeah. Well, now we, we like our pawn, so we'll keep this guy. F4. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Let's go play ahead. it solid. Yeah, in the end game, you never, especially when you're winning, you don't want to play crazy. Never give them hope. Just yep. eliminate hope, and then just, just get force rid of the guy to resist all the counterplay. Right, exactly. Yeah, so we're looking to equalize a lifetime score here. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, but happy birthday, um, whatever. Happy, yep. happy birthday. Yep, happy birthday. <laughs> All right, so we're going now for the second rank, so we can we can deliver a quick checkmate over there. So we got rook a2 coming in next. <coughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. He's trying to escape, you know, the checkmate. But it ain't gonna work. Yep. Yeah. All right, he hangs the bishop. Well, we'll just take it. It's not a trick. It's not a trick. He's hoping that maybe we'll still mate him, but... Uh, uh, maybe no he's going for the angry rook, for like the stalemate trick. Yeah. With the angry rook, you know, where he can just check you forever and then, you know... Yeah, once so you as, you, as you see, once your material up, it's always a good idea to trade everything off the board. So... All right. Oh, mm. does he have a trick like rook takes g6? Nah, takes that doesn't work. Yeah, because of rook f8. All right. Uh, but you always got to look for tricks like that. Anyone else in the chat who wants a game? Uh, a lot of people do. Uh, brain hacker. Brain hacker. Shock I, I saw brain hacker Dr. somewhere. Dr. Pigeon. Let's get brain hacker a game. All right. Brain hacker it yep. is. Yep. Now's your shot. <laughs> yeah. Impressed, Mike, and maybe you can make it to the team. <laughs> you never know. That's what the summer series was all about. But unfortunately, or fortunately for us, they got rid of the uh, rating cap. Yeah. So our board four is now, if believe it or not, <laughs> Benjamin <laughs> Bach has played board four for us. Nicholas Theodore has played board four. And of course, Liam Lee also has played board four and will be playing board four yeah. against the California Unicorns. Whenever I get the chance, of course, because Mike's, Mike's pretty harsh. He's uh, generally letting the big guns play. But whenever I get the chance, I... Try to prove myself. 
You did pretty well in your first match, right? Yep. Yeah, I scored 50% against uh, Chicago, so that was okay. Who, who did you play in the last round? Uh, Quesada. And wasn't, wasn't that the ending kind of funny in that one or something? Yeah, or? We, we just kept on going back and forth. We were both having a hard time to figure out a plan. Yeah. And I figured that like we were even before the last match, so like since we have so many good players, if, I, if I'm just solid with black, then the other guys are going to score enough points, and that's right. what happened. Yeah. Now, if you have Fabiano with white, you can count on that. <laughs> Take it to the bank. All right, he's going for some F5 stuff. Not sure about that. Um, yeah, why don't you just... Why doesn't he just go back, you know? Just go back. Bishop F6 is a bit of a weird move. Because we might have to go back later on anyway. To get our knight out, you know? Yep. But, uh, I don't know. Let's expand over here. Might be a bit risky what we're doing here. Yeah, you see, we have to put the bishop back right now. Be easy mentions the old Urasov gambit. Club manager Jonathan Schrantz once had a, a show and the Urasov Gambit, how, how to play against it or with it, yeah. got over one million views. <laughs> so. Oh. So, yeah, if you want to check out and add to the total, go check out Jonathan Schrantz's Urasov Gambit opening. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's going pretty aggressive here. We'll go e6. If he takes, we'll take back. Knight f4 might be annoying here because he can try to gang up on the e6 pawn, but we're not too worried. Because if, if stuff is uh, about to get tricky, you know, like, I'll just ask Mike for advice. Yeah. On 93, so that's not going to cut it, bro. <laughs> let's, let's bring out the knight here. Yeah, so we don't allow any knight g4 stuff. Is he just going to go crazy and play g4? Oh, he's King preparing g4. He's preparing g4. Yeah, we'll just castle. We're safe now. I think... I kind of like our position, but it's still, uh, it's not easy. Brain Hacker is giving us a good game. Okay, he's going for Queen E1. Trying to go for an attack over there. <coughs> let's go for, uh, let's go for D5. Attack right. this pawn. Yep. And if he, he can go E5, but that pawn might become weak later on. So that's always something you have but to keep in mind. you have a plan for your knight, though. <laughs> well, I'll go to h5. Oh, man, the, just yeah. begging for your guy to play g4. I don't know why he's not playing g4. But if he goes g4, I'll go to f4. Okay, he goes right. there. Let's just... Let's just... Uh, I don't know. Let's just take here and go knight d4. He can still go e5, but it might backfire for him, you know. Knight e5, okay. We'll go queen to b7. All right, we're, we're attacking the attacking. e pawn even more. So, of course, yep, rook f4 yep. will be played. <laughs> <laughs> well, rook f4, yeah, it's a move, but we're not worried about stuff like that. Okay. <coughs> and now g4 looks silly. Cause yeah, he has to do something with his pieces. And he's almost in the danger zone. Oh, man. Yeah, he's getting pretty low on time. Let's try to go for some tricks. I feel like it should work, because if he takes, we'll take back. Of course he's... Oh, but yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, well, this we, is going to be interesting. Yeah, but he has back crank the, issues the as well. Pull. So if he takes, we'll take back, and then both knights will be hanging. Love it. So if he moves this knight to... Yeah, he moves it back, but now this guy is hanging. So it all worked out for us. And we got the B-pawn to boot, if you want it. Uh, oh, because it loses the other B-pawn. Let's just protect this guy. And this pawn was hanging as well. Yeah, now we activate the rook. B3. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. <laughs> rook C2. We'll just take it. Yep. <laughs> Bishop D4. Let's go knight D2. Go for some tricks. Rook d1, he saw it all. Let's kudos, just kudos to that guy. 
Let's take here and go E5. And, and call it a day. Call yep, it a day. He timed out. And another um, win for the yeah. home team. For, for, the, for the Archbishops, the world champion, reigning champions of the Protest League. Yep. St. We'll, Louis Archbishops. I'm, of course, the team manager of the Archbishops alongside Grandmaster yep, Benjamin yep. Bach, who is currently 18 and 0. Can yeah. anybody even give this guy a game? Boris Matt and Dan Boris Matt, if if we're gonna play you, you better you better Yeah, let's give him a game. <laughs> yeah. You better bring it. Who cares if you're fifteen hundred? This is three oh. Don't be afraid. Take the game to them, man. And see All right. what happens. And he goes E four, let's go let's go knight C six. Let's uh -oh. let's mix it up this game. Knight C three. Um we'll go I don't know. I, I, I once I once had a video in my beginner breakdown yeah. series. Uh, Let's go knight of six. Or what about uh, something about the simple man, a simple move by a simple man. I when they play knight c six, I made it so it was impossible, impossible for you ever to get in d five. This guy led in d five on what move four? Yeah. Oh man, you got to so, know what they want to do. Yeah, I was trying to get some cheat. Okay, well he gives up a pawn. We'll just take it because. We like pawns over here. <laughs> if he takes, we'll take an e4. Yeah. So yeah. So you gave Ble uh, Benjamin Bach everything he wanted in this opening. Yeah. Everything in chess, you know. Like <laughs> I just want to take pawns. Yes. Yes. Gobble them up. Yep. Queen g4. All right. Is that gonna scare Threading us? Threatening checkmate. All right. Oh yeah. Thanks for it mentioning. It was a checkmate <laughs> alert. Checkmate <laughs> alert on the board. All right. Uh, let's. I don't know. Position is so good. We can do whatever we want. You know. Let's bring out the queen. That's what I would do. Is he gonna see the threat over he there? He will. Probably he will. Knight yeah. e2. That's my bet. Yeah. Knight e2. Queen g3. <laughs> Let's try to bring out the bishop like, oh, that's going to hurt. That's called voluntarily removing the defender. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Oh, man, you got, now you got no moves. Oh, yeah, you 92, got a, well, that gives a Baruch uh, and another one. Yeah, it's like, let's give, a, let's give a check first, you know, let's torture him for a bit. And we can take a Rook, so we'll take it. 94. Go Queen D1. He's about to be checkmated. Shout out to uh, Chris Dresser. Thanks for watching the show. Thanks for watching the show. Let's give a check here. <laughs> Let's give a check here. And uh, let's let's bring the bishop back. I like it. Yep, we'll take the knight. Oh, we'll just bring in the rook. Threatening checkmate. Oh, oh he sees it, but did he take <laughs> this in mind? <laughs> All right. No, we're not trading off pieces. We're about to checkmate you, buddy. We show no mercy. Right. All right. Okay. Well, let's just give a check and can give it checkmate. That's yep. game. All right. So, who's next? Um, Dealer's choice. Doc Pigeon wants to play. Doc Pigeon. We'll give him a game. Yep. Now it's your shot, Doc Pigeon. Show, uh -huh. show Mike, the manager, what you got. Oh, well, nobody knows. This guy could be 14-16, or he could be, uh, according to one guy, Playing with an engine. All right, let's play. <laughs> but let's I play doubt. B6. I doubt any of our uh, prestigious viewers are playing with an engine. Yeah. Oh, uh, let. Oh, he gives up a pawn, so we'll take it. <laughs> oh, okay, right off the bat. Let's let's keep the bishop. Let's. We'll be playing for maybe another twenty minutes to a half hour or so. So get your challenges in. See if we can go 25 and oh. <laughs> yep. So he's got some comp here because he's got all the development. It's not easy, but 
we're we're pretty solid here. But he, so. so he's down a pawn, but his pieces are active. Yep, knight e5. We'll just castle, kick it away with d6 on the next move. Did you castle first because maybe you were like, yeah, thinking about like, maybe he might play f a knight takes f7 or he something? He gives up another pawn, but we we already have one pawn, so let's not be greedy. All right. Oh, but oh, that's, gave uh, up the knight. Oh, that's a bit too much. Oh, I guess he thought you were gonna pre-move bishop takes, or he was gonna pre-move rook d1. Yeah. It's yeah, it's it only pre-move take backs, automatic take backs. Anything else, uh, you're bound to fail. Yeah. Risk is too high. Right. All right. Um, we can. Uh, let's just develop the rook. He goes for ninety four, and we'll take that pawn. Our bishop is active again. So yeah, this looks pretty easy. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, yep, yep. Come on down to the uh, St. Louis Chess Club today. Uh, you have until 2.45 to register for the Sunday six-player Swiss. Uh, two prizes in each section, $40 for the winner, $20 for second place. And get all the glory you can. And who knows, if I'm top of quad two, I'll be playing our section two to the six-player. Yep. So. All right, so we're going for some tricks here. We're going the for bishop. checkmate, we're obviously. We're going for checkmate, but also knight of three. Yeah, knight of three. Let's get it. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> the check. Yep. So the king f2. King f2, we'll just take the rook. King takes. <coughs> and we'll, we'll just take right there. And we'll Got go knight of 6 Got him on the run. Knight g4 is coming in if he wants uh, let's it. Let's just give a check here. We'll give, we'll give another now check. Now knight g4 is coming in. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, oh, we got a lot of discovered checks coming. Where up. do we, where do we give the check, Mike? Let's let's play check here. <laughs> oh, good. King f2. Let's give him another check. Do you see the checkmate? Uh, maybe uh, bishop f3. Maybe. Uh, well, I'll, I'll just listen to you. Like you no, take it from King you F2. take it from here. Call the moves, Mike. Um, how about uh, let's be funny, Bishop the D one. Okay. <laughs> he moves the king. Uh, knight F three. Yep. That picks oh, up the and here we go. Don't take the queen. <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> like the, as, as you know, the queen's only worth nine uh, points. He, the he king resigned. is worth nine billion. Queen yeah, takes h two. <laughs> Checkmate is coming up. Yep. All right. Oh yeah. Dakota keeps saying Dakota. he's going to give you. He's going to give you a better game. T Coda. T Coda. He's like, I'm going to give you guys a game you never seen before. <laughs> yeah. Seven uh, Seven Samurai. Is that JJ? Uh-oh. Could it be? He wants to take your your claim. Oh, this, so this could be Jamil John Ali Ali Morande, <laughs> yeah. Grandmaster and intense chess victor against Ipatov. Yep. Did you see the big uh the big match, the intense chess match? Yeah, I saw it. It was uh fun to watch. Did you see the big tiebreaker? <laughs> yep, I was hopefully I was hoping they would arm wrestle, but unfortunately they didn't. Yeah. I think this could be JJ. So we have a we have a real match here. Bishop d6. I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just put the bishop back. All right, he goes for that. Let's go bishop b5. I don't know the theory here. Probably he knows better than me. A6. We'll just take that and play queen a4. <laughs> Bishop b7 coming up. Yep, yep. Queen c7. We'll play queen to a3. So if he takes, this guy is hanging. <laughs> if he takes, we'll just take back. 
Open that H file. Oh, and he blundered the bishop. No, I don't. No, this can't be changed. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I, I think he would have st stuck with his trademark last seven samurai. I don't think yeah. he would have abbreviated it. And to make matters worse, is, there, is seven samurai is that a thing? Like, well, I, I never got to the origin of his name. Yeah, the, the last seven samurai. But that, yeah, the last seven samurai is on a Twitch channel uh, that is a. Uh, Fellow world champion of the uh, yeah. chess league. Uh, yeah, JJ so if you guys want to see some quality chess by JJ, go to his Twitch channel and uh, you'll have a good time. Yeah. All right. So we still got about 20, 25 minutes in the uh, thing, and we're yep. trying to be 25 and 0. How much are we now? Well, according to the uh, ledger, twenty and zero. But oh, oh, there it is. We might have, we might have lost count. We might not have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how official that graphic is, but knight g four. He's going for checkmate. Are we afraid? And, oh, it's it's accurate. We have confirmation where it's accurate. Yep. <laughs> That's our uh, illustrious producer Ben Simon of St. Louis wrestling fame. <laughs> All right, we got a nice night here on C5. And his favorite event, of course, is the Royal Rumble. And, and uh -huh. he usually goes to all the WrestleManias. Where's the WrestleMania going to be in March, Ben? Tampa. Tampa, all right, going down to Florida. Damn. All right, let's, you know, like, let's get rid of this night. He has to go back to H6, I guess, and then we'll do some more damage here on the queen side. I like it. And he's down to 40 uh, full, seconds. So. Oh, he's down to full piece. Okay, yeah, we'll go queen before. Uh, Dakota, he keeps at it. He's like, I'm going to give you guys a game. I'm going to give you guys a game. <laughs> okay. It's like, all right, if we can find your challenge, we'll accept it, okay? Dakota, what's his username? Or his uh, No, yeah, his name is... Uh, Chris Dresser, but yeah, his username okay. is Two Coder. Two K. We'll we'll look for it. Okay. Do you see the trick, Mike? Do I see the trick? It's white to move. Yep. White to move. Is it Bishop to E five again? Bishop to B eight. Oh, Bishop to B eight. Even better. Yep. Even better. He trapped his own rooks. <laughs> That's tough to do. That's tough to do. And now he doesn't know what to do. Yeah, he's about to time out. <laughs> Obviously, if he takes, he gets back row checkmated, I guess. All right, he's timed yep, out. Yep. Couldn't find the resign win. button. Okay. All right, 21 um, and 0. Let's see if we can find Dakota. Dakota. Do you see him? I do I don't not see him. him. Let's go with uh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> All right. All right, Zeus Jesus Chris. Chris. Jesus Chris. <laughs> see what you got. D4. I don't know. Let's play. And this guy's been waiting for a while to play, so yeah. So maybe he's going to bring it. Maybe he's going to bring it. To take. Don't take the pawn. Don't take the pawn. All right. Pass the first test. Yep. And we're. We're taking this pawn. So I have to do knight c3. All right. Tricky guy. Uh, we have to be careful here. He might jump with a knight suddenly. So let's just cover d5. My yeah, nice, nice move by uh, Jesus Chris. Because you don't want to play a move like queen c1 because that's kind of passive. So he's just letting you have the b pawn? Well, he has, some, he has some tricks over there. So I'm being careful here. All right. Let's just let's just castle. H three. Well, but now he's asking for it. <laughs> he's asking for it. I can just take the pawn if I want to. But I don't know if I want to. Right. Well, see how grandmasters play. They never underestimate their opponents, no matter what their uh, rating may be, or no matter how bad they were playing in the past. They always just. <laughs> They're always on alert, right? I mean, if you've noticed in these 21 games, 22 games, 
How many times has Benjamin been checked? Maybe twice? Bishop b5 check, bishop takes d7 check. Yep. I think those, those are the only two checks I counted so far. Maybe one spike check at the very end, but. Yeah, so now we got a nice position because we, we, have, we have traded his d4 pawn for, for our c pawn. And we have a nice half open c file on which we can put some pressure. So, queen to c4. All right, uh, do we want to trade queens? <laughs> nah, no, we don't. Let's keep it more fun. For the people. <laughs> yeah, all right. So this guy's doing pretty well on time so far. He's yeah. attacking your queen. But we'll take it and we'll bring out knight to b4. We're taking a lot of so his stuff. So queen to b3 is coming up? Well, then we can take on c2. No. Well, I don't have anything better, so. so <laughs> well, but let's. Uh, uh, we gotta watch out because if if Rook takes C two A three, right? Well, that hangs the bishop over there. Oh, uh, okay. Right, then don't don't listen to me. <laughs> don't listen to me. It's like, yeah, Rook C two it is. Rook C two it is. Uh, let's just take with a let's just take with a knight. All right, here, here goes the queens. Yep. Okay, he goes rook there. We'll we'll bring back the knight. Here comes a3. Yeah, a, okay, we'll just take back a3. We can just move the knight back if you want to. Or bishop f5. You know, some tricks. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go knight, knight d5 first. All right, bishop h2 if he knows what's good oh. for him. So we just take it, right? Let's oh, just you can go. Do what you do whatever you want. Let's just go knight here. Oh, he wants to get the light squared bishop and not the dark squared bishop. I, see, I would have yeah. doubled his pawns in a heartbeat, and now we got a pass D pawn, and it's all gravy. But that's why well, I was seventeen hundred. Let's, let's, let's keep the knight because the knight's pretty strong over here. You know, it's really bugging White, and he can't defend this pawn over there. Wonderful. Always thinking five steps ahead. Now just oh, I'm gonna double your pawns. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was attacking our pawn, but we'll just protect it. We're not, sense to me. we're not falling for any cheap tricks here. Bishop c4, we'll take it. Yep, yeah. so we're two pawns up and we're up on the clock. What more do you want? <laughs> okay, let's bring the knight back to e4. If he goes bishop f4, that would allow some e5 tricks. Yep, it's too bad. So he has to play f3 here just to save face. Or maybe he'll play bishop to, what is that? Ah, uh, he takes. Now he takes. All right, this game is in the books. Yep, oh, and that's another piece. <laughs> double, uh, yeah, double attack. Oh, but what, what about bishop to... Uh, D5, knight of six. We got it all covered. We got it all under control. And he's in the red. All right, everyone. Yeah, we're 22 and 0. We might, we're going for 25 and 0. So maybe two, three more games here. Uh, anyone in chat who wants to play? Uh, that, that one guy is still asking. Do we, have we ever found him? Dakota... T -coda. T -coda. Yeah, we just don't find you. We just don't see you. Yeah, let's give Master of oh, Chess. Oh, yeah, he was talking. He was talking that he had some something for you, the Master of Chess. What was he saying earlier? D4, let's bring out the knight. The Master of Chess. So we got a Grand Fisher. Master of Chess. <laughs> yeah. And we got Michael. Oh, wait, wait, wait. International Arbiter Michael J. Comer. <laughs> yeah. All right, and I will be in action today. So uh, he like gave a us a pawn. All right, already a gambited pawn. Oh, we have to be. Oh, I wasn't careful here. Oh, if I play, I might have m messed it up. Might have messed this up, Mike. Because if right. I play c6, he takes and queen f3. So. Okay, That's so if you see that you've done something wrong, don't like compound the error. Just just 
you know, yeah. play some patchwork and we'll be fine. Great, because right, we're already up a pawn, right? So even if we give back a pawn, we're even, okay? So got to look yeah. on the bright side sometimes and get on with the shelf. Yeah. Well, our position here might be uh, kind of pro problematic, but we'll we'll <laughs> deal with it. We've we've dealt with worse situations, yeah. you know. Yeah. Let's bring out the knight. Yep. Just get our pieces active, and we'll be fine. Oh, he's so it's not a trick. It's not a trick. It's not. Well, a he has some queen h five stuff. I'm not afraid. Well, <laughs> let's play knight b six. Let's push him back. Why can't he play it anyway? What? No, queen h5. Like, if we took on g2, he had queen h5, and it would have been tough to protect his pawn. Oh, I... Uh, I e6 see, I runs see, I see. He's not, gonna, he's not just going to play bishop takes f7 right off the bat. Yeah. And he can go bishop f1 here, but that's really passive, you know? Oh, he's not playing bishop f1. Yeah. He's not going to make fool of us like that. I don't know why he just doesn't go for it anyway and just play bishop takes up seven check. But then king takes. All right. Well, so now he's <laughs> now he's allowing this stuff again. So we'll take it. Let's see what you got. Um, yeah. So he's threatening the checkmate. Let's go e6. If he takes, we can cover with queen seven. So this is probably uh, he will take. Well, there's no excuse for him not. To this is probably the toughest game we've had so far. Yeah. Like I said, because I wasn't really careful in the opening. But See, that's, that's how you have to beat the Grandmasters. Take yep. the game to them right away. Don't, don't be, uh, oh, I'm going to play real nice and solid. You're never going to beat a Grandmaster doing that. All right. So we got the Rook. So he has to show us uh, some real comp now. Um. What about this? Which we, we save the bishop, get that bishop off of eight. We did his mission. Now get him back in the game. All right, if you say so, let's <laughs> okay, get the bishop okay. back. But yeah, position like we're up a rook, but it's still not so easy because it's not easy to uh, develop. Um, let's just play. I don't know, queen here and try to bring out this bishop. But he, he's got a nice comp, you know? Like, he's got a lot of nice squares. It's not, yeah. easy, not easy for us to uh, make good moves here. Can but okay, we got the rook. We got a bit more extra time, uh, so. Uh, knight f5 coming in quick, followed by knight g7, check. But then we just shuffle the king to d8. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, let's let's move the queen over here. Try to grab some more material. Like I said, if you if you oh, give the knight check, five, knight takes up seven, or queen takes up seven, obviously. Oh, uh, thanks for <laughs> mentioning that. <laughs> um, but I think I have to do it anyway. He moves there. I have I have bishop d five. If he takes. All right. Well. Be, be on the lookout for it. Because <laughs> 96, I take. What else is he going to do? Yep. And the knight's in a pin. Yeah, that's, so that's, 90, what's, that's what's. He probably has to do 96 anyway, but I'll just take it. And he's not threatening checkmate because we got our knight yeah, on Yeah, we got a knight here. And let's just be greedy, you know? And there's no checks. No checks. Yeah. And he's really low on time. Rook D1. Oh, yeah. oh, he, oh we'll take the oh, rook. Oh, 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 watch out. So, so, yeah, so he's threatening the big. Oh, okay, well, he's threatening nothing now. He, he collapsed at the end, but. Yep. Uh, yeah, but kudos to uh, Master of Chess, because he, he gave us a real fight. And <laughs> Even though yeah. it doesn't look like it in the final <laughs> yeah. position. You're yeah, only up by, was, like, uh, 13 points. It was tough in the opening. So kudos to Master of Chess. He really went for it. Yeah, that's how you gotta be. That's how you gotta be. Yep, you got yep. nothing to lose. You playing three zero against world champion of the Pro Chess League. Uh, Benjamin uh, who's next? Let's play Wasp. Who, who, whoever you want to play. Yeah, he, I think he's played us a couple. Oh, oh no, no, zero no. zero. So this is his first time. I've seen him in the uh, 
I've seen him in the queue before, though. B4. What is that, buddy? Let's go D5. Let's let's just bring out the bishop. This is called the orangutan. <laughs> you say so. All right. Yo, B4. I've, okay, I've, I've seen this before. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go to knight of six. And he saved his pawn. We'll go. Well, let's just let's just develop. I always find the spawns annoying because I I can't put the knight on c6 now. But okay, we'll just castle. And let's play c5. If he takes here, we're not worried. We'll take back with the knight. Well, you actually want him to. We're goading him to do it, but yep. he didn't. He didn't fall for it. All right, let's develop the knight here. D4. We'll just take here. If he takes back, we have knight b6. Yep. All right. Let's just uh, let's just develop. Rook c8. Oh, we almost got back to a hundred. Ninety-six players watching now. Yep. It's just a good time to, to mention because we will be going off air in about ten minutes here. Um, tune in tomorrow. Monday, 3.15 p.m., and watch the Archbishops play the California Unicorns. We'll have our, uh, our four highest-rated players playing, Fabiano, Wesley, Dominguez, and uh, Liam Lee. Yep. So it's, it's, we're favored in all 16 matches against the California Unicorns. Yeah. Unfortunately, I won't be playing. <laughs> still, uh, still haven't gotten over that fact. Like, Mike will have to explain that to me sometime. <laughs> all right. I'll but... Go. Uh, I'm so good at chess. <laughs> <laughs> what more proof do you need? I'm 23 and 0. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll just take here. But by playing that oh. w that well, well, but but by playing that one game earlier in the season against our rival, the Chicago Wind, um, you are now playoff eligible, though. Yep. And yep. so, uh, the final four will be at. Uh, an off-site location. So, you know, if our highest-rated players can't make it, guess what? He's in. He's in. <laughs> so, it was always fun in San we'll Francisco. We'll bring out the champions from last year again. <laughs> yeah, right. Just, like, yeah, they're all on our team. Wesley, Nicholas, Benjamin, and Julian Fabiano Caruana. Fa uh, yeah, right. Fabiano. Yeah. Fabiano went seven and a half out of eight in San Francisco to lead us to the championship. Wesley, of course, led us in uh, the 2017 yep. championship. Yeah, those are some real champs. Like, they're inspiring uh, everyone around St. Louis, you know, who's, uh, who's a chess fan. Just like our, Mi just like our uh, manager, Michael J. Comer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to prevent this knight from uh, developing. Um, let's just go, let's just go rook here, see where he goes. Oh no! All right, wait, put him in a pen. Put him in a pen. Uh, All right, oh. I blundered a rook. Uh, but he's down uh, one minute. He's down one minute. All right, now it's time to get serious. All right. Um, yeah. So let's go for some tricks. Love it. All right, we're only in, <laughs> oh, only yeah. in exchange down now, and we're a minute up on the clock. So, and we have these really annoying knights around here. Let's trying to get a pass pawn. Um, well, this pin along the D file is really annoying, so I want to do something about that somehow. Let's play rook. I like it here. Here comes a six. Oh, and we'll take. Should have, should have play a six. We we'll take this right. guy. Queen e two. We'll trade queens. Bring the knight back. Threatening, threatening a big check on f3. Well, first we'll have to take this guy. Uh, he goes rook there, good move. We'll go a6, trying to round up that pawn. F4, 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 here comes f4. Oh, nope. Oh, that blunders. Uh, he still has f4, though. Uh, yeah, no, okay, no. we'll take... Now get back there. Get back, <laughs> get yep. Back. Block. Back and this defense. Is, this is plays itself. Yep. All right, but I got really worried right there because I uh, <laughs> hung a rook. Rightfully so. Hung a rook. 
um, it's not a not a good idea, especially not when the when a man manager is watching. You know, when you when you try to get on the team and you blunder a rook, like <laughs> manager doesn't like that. But he persevered, just like the archbishops. They always yeah. persevere. We're champions of the world. Yeah, and here's our proof to prove it. <laughs> Bring back the knight, and we'll just round up that pawn over there. E4, are we scared of that? No, let's grab Thanks, another sir. pawn. Let's grab another pawn. Let's grab an... Oh, no it? stalemates! No, he has the H4 oh. square. <laughs> but did he, did, he, did he resign? Yeah. I re resigned right when it was almost a stalemate. All right, we're 24 and 0. Do we have time to go 25 and 0? Yep. Let's play this guy, right, Snodder. One more. This is for 25 and 0, and then I got to yep. go direct the uh, Sunday six player Swiss. That's going to be held right here at the chess club, three to five. All right, he's going D4. We're going again for a uh, Fianchetto or modern defense, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. Uh, thank you all for uh, yep, for thanks, watching today. Thanks this for is, everyone this is, who's watching. This is the last this is the last game of the match. We're gonna go twenty five and zero. Yep. And, and we got we we have proof from sixteen hundred to twenty two forty six. So yep. That's so if you want to get that rating up, just invite me to the chess club. <laughs> and we'll try to get to three k next time. Yeah. Thank you for spending some of your birthday weekend with the people and, yep. and uh, all the all our big fans on YouTube. And all right. Pretty much fun. Yeah. Okay, so we have a, another King's Indian defense here. He's uh, all right, let's go E5. So if anybody wants to play you in person, is there any big open tournament you'll be playing in the near future, do you know? Um, you'll be playing in the U.S. Uh, Collegiate Rapid and Blitz probably yep. in March. That will be held at SLU. Yep. So if you're a college player and want to come out and try to take on uh, the silver medal champion <laughs> of the uh, Rapid. Uh, a Blitz. Or, a Blitz, a Blitz, a Blitz, yes. Um, try, to, try to get on, on that. And you'll be playing in the Pan Ams, most likely? Uh, the Final Four. The Final Four, right, yeah. right. So they went to the Pan Ams. They achieved their goal of getting into the Final Four. Yep. What, 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 what kind of cup is that called again? The President's Cup. Yes, President's Cup. Is that held in, uh, oh, that's going to be held in Charlotte? Oh, uh, right? like, no, no, the, the Pan Ams were held in Charlotte. No, the Pan Ams. And the were... Final Four is probably going to be held in New York okay. City. Yeah, yeah, that's where it was last year. All oh, right. And hopefully, But uh, uh, that, that hasn't been confirmed yet, so. Okay. We'll see. Yep, yep. But it will be very exciting. We'll be cheering on SLU. Of course, All Webster right. made it again. Yep. Uh, thank you for Ronan Returns. All right. We He's appreciate you guys watching you. Max Branco. If you had a dollar for every win today, you'd have twenty-five dollars. All right, yep. <laughs> all about the Benjamins. <laughs> all right, Dakota. So, sorry, sorry, we couldn't get to you today. We just did not find you in the queue. If you're not in the queue, guess what? We can't play. We're not going to actively seek out how to challenge you. Okay. Yeah. We got a show to run here. Yeah, we we have Michael J. Comer, legend of the chess club, and his time is very valuable. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, right. He, he doesn't have time for that. All right, let's call it this an exchange sec. Yep. But do we'll we even see. want it? Do we even want it? There's no reason to take it because it's still in the pin. Well, let's take it. All right, just take it. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Just get it off the books. All right, let's activate the rook. All right, he's coming in. He's coming in. You can already see it. Uh, let's activate the queen here. Try to. Oh, that's why he didn't play knight g5, because they just hung them. Yeah, well, he, he yeah. probably should have played knight g5, you know, because, like, it, he's he's down in material, so that's probably when you should try to go for some tricks. But he didn't, so we'll try to convert this extra exchange. <laughs> I, like our, I like our chances. I like our chances. Yep, he's down yep. a minute on time, and things are looking good. Yeah, so we traded off the queens. This pawn might become weak. Knight d2, well, not sure how he's going to defend the pawn right now. 
Yep. Thank you very much. <laughs> G3. We'll just move the rook back. And we'll put this rook here. Trying to go D5. Knight G5. All right. Trying to... Now it's too late. Too late. Yep. Too late, buddy. <laughs> and he's about to lose on time. <laughs> We don't show any mercy around here. No mercy, because I expect none from your opponent, so. Yep. It's a great philosophy. Yep, so he's given up the night. And that's it. Yep, we went 25-0. and 0. Great job, Benjamin. Uh, yep. That's what we like to see in our fellow archbishops. Uh, no mercy, relentless, 25-0, and 0, never give an inch, hardly ever yeah. get checked. And that's what we like to see. Congratulations yep, to yep. Grandmaster Benjamin Bach on his birthday weekend, spending it with the people. Yeah, so thanks for everyone who, uh, who watched, who uh, challenged us. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the games. But you guys have to step it up for next time. Um, make sure to tune in tomorrow to see us take on the California Unicorns. 3.15 p.m. USA Central Time. It's yep. going to be... A great one. Let's let's see us uh, get another win, get that championship. I love it. Yep, yep. yep. We just keep keep pressing it on. Go four and zero tomorrow, and see what happens. Yep. Thanks, everyone. Right, goodbye. This has been a presentation of the St. Louis Chess Club.